So in this video, we are going to understand Vibers by using inspection method, how to do in an easier way without drawing the diagram when it is given in tabular form. Okay. So this table will be given in the question. So you need to write the elements of the Vibers matrix using this table itself. Okay. You can directly write from here. So I will teach you how to do that. So starting from here, you need to understand first what, how many nodes are there because Vibers matrix is nothing but the number of order of Vibers is will be what order of Vibers will be n cross n that means n is nothing but the number of nodes how many nodes are there so if you see this column this is the bus node 1 to 2 that means what 1 means the starting node 2 is the ending node 1 to 2 then 1 to 3 2 to 3 so maximum number you can see it is 3 right so 1 2 and 3 is there. So, how many nodes are there? Total 3 nodes are there. So, you can tell that the Vibus matrix it is always a symmetric and a square matrix of the order in this question it is 3 cross 3 because the maximum number of nodes we have is 3. Okay, total number of nodes. Now, so we, we got to know that Vibus will be 3 cross 3. Therefore, you can directly write that will be Y11. The elements will be Y11, Y12, Y13 y21 y22 y23 y31 y32 and y33 correct next so from here directly we'll write the answer so starting with y11 i'll write the diagonal elements first okay y11 y22 y33 how to write diagonal elements it's simple y means it is admittance always write admittances so y11 one node so wherever one node is there you have to include all the admittance of that so if you see here this column again if you see here we have one to two that means one node is there first node is there one to three again one node is there two to three we don't have one correct so one one means you have to see only one node so whatever the admittance is there you can see this row whatever the admittance is there add them okay whatever the admittance is there so i'll add first the first uh, row you can see admittance you have to write it as so impedance is given right so i'll convert it into admittance how to convert Re basically you have to take reciprocal so 1 by 0 0.06 plus 0 0.18 j next we have here half line charging admittance remember this this is half line charging admittance directly you have to write this is admittance itself so I can directly write as 0.005j plus second column you can see this is also associated with the first node so here also 1 by I'll take 0 0.02 plus 0 0.06j plus half line charging admittance is given admittance is given no need to take 1 by okay so we have written all the admittances associated with the first node okay first node now this will be the answer that means directly you can write it from the table itself so answer of this will be 6.67 minus j 19.89 just you can calculate put it in the calculator and calculate let us go for the second diagonal element that is y22 so associated with second node you have to see okay second node whatever is there that you have to see okay so basically if you see here second node you have to see so 1 to 2 I have second node correct 1 to 3 I don't have 2 to 3 I again have second node so you have to consider this column and sorry this row and this row correct first and second row you have to consider because it is associated with the second uh, node okay so I can take directly the admittances so 0 0.06 plus 0 0.18j plus I am taking first row okay 0 0.005j no need to take reciprocal because it is already given in admittance and one more thing this is half line charging suppose if they give full line charging you have to just divide it by 2 that's it okay then add it here they have directly given half line charging to so directly add it now the third row 1 by 0 0.04 plus 0 0.12 j plus 0 0.005 j so answer of this will be equal to 4.167 minus j 12.4 okay 
Now let us go for the y33, the last diagonal element that will be c here. So for y33, what you need to see? Again, see this one, bus. Okay. So third, third node, one to three, we have three. One to uh, two to three, we have three. So in this, we don't have any third uh, node. So this column and this column we have to consider. So add all the admittances: 0 0.02 plus 0 0.06j plus half line charging admittance. 0 0.006j plus 1 by 0 0.04 plus 0 0.12j plus 0 0.005. So this answer will be 7.5 minus j 22.239. Okay, you can just verify. So we are done with the diagonal elements. Okay, so let us go for the non diagonal elements. So starting with the non-diagonal elements, that is, uh, I'll start with y12. And one more thing, remember, since the y bus is a symmetric matrix, remember this that 1 2 y12 will be same as y21 because it is symmetric matrix. Symmetrics. What is symmetric matrix? It is nothing but if you take transpose of that matrix, it will be same as the matrix itself. Okay. Suppose a matrix is there. It will be which will be equal to transpose of a matrix that is nothing but symmetric matrix in simple words now always remember that y12 will be same as y21 so how to find out this always you have to take minus of the admittance between those two nodes so which two nodes here you can observe that is 1 2 or 2 1 here we have 1 2 right y12 so between 1 and 2 we have to see what is the admittance negative of that admittance you have to take correct so between one and second node first and second node we have directly we have one ad impedance is given you can convert it to admittance by taking one by so i'll directly take minus one by 0 0.06 plus 0 0.18 j so do i have to add this half line charging no you should not add half line charging you have to forget about this column itself for non diagonal elements or off diagonal elements always remember don't consider half line charging admittances only have to consider what is the imp uh, sorry what is the admittance between those two nodes okay so minus of 1 by the impedance that will give the admittance so this will be equal to minus 1.67 plus j5 next y13 which will be equal to y31 equal to minus of the 1 3 you can see 1 3 we have the impedance so i'll write it here 0 0.02 plus 0 0.06 so this will be equal to minus 5 plus j5 okay next y23 equal to y32 equal to now 2 3 we have the minus 1 by so if you don't have the value in the table so you have to understand that that will be equal to 0 itself okay if you do if you don't have the value in the table tabular form where the, the question so you have to consider it as what 0 so minus 1 by 0 0.04 plus 0 0.12 j is equal to minus 2.5 plus j 7.5 okay so this is the answer so we have found out all the values now what we have to do we have to just put it where we have to just put it in this the y bus matrix in order to get the last final answer of y bus so this is the way you can directly do if suppose in mcq if it comes to uh, find out y22 so no need to draw diagrams and out directly from the table you can just write the values even from if if they have given diagram from the diagram itself you can write these values y22 okay